say, let us consider that this will be their ruin. Destruction. This is yeah. This is this is going to be what causes them to remain on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? This is what's going to be the reason that they're that, that we're in these bad conditions or whatever, right? Yeah. So give me um. Let me show them about the gods. Give me Isaiah 90. I mean um, um, Psalm 96. See, because God is not the God of everybody, brother. You know the Chinese. They, they, they worship Buddha. The Arabs worship Allah. Right. That's not our God, but that's right. not the God of the Bible. We are the only people who have a living God. And he wrote prophecies. You know what a prophecy is? No. A prophecy is something that's foretold that's going to happen. You know it's what I'm saying? Happen in the future. In the future. Yeah. In the future. Yeah. Okay. So read that. Psalms chapter 96 and verse 5. But all the gods of the nations are idols. So the, all the other gods, bro? They are idols. We are the only ones with the true God. Let me throw to But the Lord made the heavens. But the Lord made the heavens. That's the most high God. He made the heavens. He created us. So he created all people. But all people, he's not dealing with all people. And real quick, I, want, I was waiting for him to get to it. Give me Nehemiah 13 and verse 14. Like uh, today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. Basically, right, we, we got to keep the Sabbath. Yeah, we gotta keep the Sabbath. Like you, you broke away, you went in a store yeah. to buy on the Sabbath. I'm gonna show you how our forefathers. All right, I'm gonna stop you right now. And ask your question. Oh, yeah, what's the question? Cause I'm, I'm gonna get, we gonna get to this. What's okay. Question? Now in the Bible they tell you the day is the day is holy. You understand? And, the and God, day. yeah, the first day God starts on Sunday, right? That's the Why first day of the week. First day of the week. Okay. Why would they put church on Sunday instead of not we gonna, having? We, we gonna show you that. We, we gonna show the holy you the Sabbath day. because. Uh, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna show you why. Read that. Read Nehemiah thir uh, 13, start of verse 14. Yeah. Nehemiah 13, chapter, and start of verse 14. Yeah. And we're gonna read. We're gonna, we're gonna do some read. Read that. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 14. Well, remember me, oh, oh my God. So this is Nehemiah crying, said, "Remember me, oh God." Read concerning this, uh -huh. and wipe not out my good deeds. So don't wipe out my good deeds. Don't wipe out the works that I'm doing for the Lord. Read. That I have done for the house of my God. Come on. And for the offices thereof. Read, come on. In those days so I and Judah uh -huh. some trading one press on the Sabbath. So he said, I saw these men working on the Sabbath. I saw the men in Judah working on Sabbath. That's wrong. We're not supposed to do that. Read on, come on. And bringing in sheaves. Uh-huh. And lading asses. And lading asses. The ass is a donkey. They were putting right, loads right. on these asses. They were working. All out working on the Lord's right, Sabbath day. Read on. As also I. Come on. Grapes and figs and all manner of burdens. Come on. Which they put into Jerusalem on the Sabbath so day. So why were they bringing these things in on the Sabbath day? They, they passed, they, I remember they passed a law in uh, Haiti because that was a time in Haiti they didn't work on the Lord's Sabbath day. But the merchants, what they do, they say, look, we got to get these people in sin. So we're going to make it, give you an incentive to sell on the Sabbath. That's what they're trying to do here. Right. right. They said, we're going to bring all these things in so now you can go and buy on the Sabbath. There was a time where nothing was open on the Lord's Sabbath day. Right. So let's see how Nehemiah, let's see, it vexed them. We don't, come on. And I testified against them. He did what? I testified against he, them. He went against them. You ain't supposed to be doing that on God's day. Come on. In the day where they sold bitches. They did what? They sold bitches. Look at these other nations. They bringing all these vittles and things out. They got the beauty supply store open. Brothers Chicken open on the Lord's Sabbath day to keep you in sin. Word. But Nehemiah, he was testifying against us. They know y'all supposed to be doing that. Let's see how furious he got. Read. They brought men of Tyre also. Africa, they brought Africans. They were bringing stuff in. All these other nations were bringing these things in. And our people that we followed headlong and started going up, going doing those sins. Come on, read. Which brought fish? I'm going to let you talk. I want you to get this, though. They brought what? Fish. They brought fish. And all men are aware. And all men are aware. All kind of goods for us to purchase and to consume. Right. Read. And sold on the Sabbath unto the children of Judah. Unto the Judahites. They sold. That's us. They sold us. Come on. And in Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem. They sold to the rest of the Israelites. Read. Then I continued with the nobles of Judah. So he went to, he, like we continued with you, he went to the Israelites and said, hey, I'm going to continue with you. I'm going to let you know what you're doing is wrong. Read. And said it to them. Uh-huh. What evil thing is this that ye do and profane the Sabbath day? He said, what evil thing are y'all doing? Nehemiah is trying to talk some sense into him. He said, what are y'all doing on the Sabbath day? Read. 
Did not your fathers thus? He said, did not your fathers read? And did not our God bring all this evil upon us? So he brings evil on us when we break his commandments. Right. Nehemiah is trying to get the brothers and sisters to understand that. Read on. Right. And upon this in upon this city, uh -huh. yet you bring more wrath upon Israel. So when we do that, we're bringing more destruction on our on our people. When we do things on the Sabbath, when we break in the Sabbath, okay. Nehemiah, he see no, he got a man of understanding. He knows what's going on. So he's reasoning but with the he reasoning with that. Huh, Just because if everybody jump off the, the, that bridge, are you gonna do it? No. Exactly. So, so wait, that's what I did. We're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how furious he got. I wanna, let me get to the point. Get, uh, come on, read it. By profaning the Sabbath, uh -huh. and it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, uh -huh. I commanded that the gates should be shut. He said, "I'm gonna shut the gates so we can't break the Sabbath." Read. And charge that they should not be open till after the Sabbath. He said, and "That's how things used to roll." Shut down. Friday shut. Friday shut it down. Friday sundown. Shut it down. On the Sabbath. Shut it down. It don't open back up to Sunday. Read on. And some of my servants I said at the gates uh -huh. that there should be no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So he said there shouldn't be no burdens brought in on the Sabbath. Come on. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of wear lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Uh -huh. Then I testified against them and said to them, Why lodge ye about the wall? So he went and checked them. Why y'all lodge down here? You know what I'm saying? Nehemiah didn't play. I thought they played no games. Let's huh. see how serious he was. Read. If you do so again. He said, if you do this again, come on. I will lay hands on you. He said, I'm going to put these things on you. Yeah. But I, we advocating violence, but that's how serious he was about keeping uh, guys laws. He said, if you do this again, he's going to do what? Put hands on you. Uh -huh. From that time forth came they no more on the Sabbath. He didn't come on the Sabbath no more. That's what it's going to go back to when we start keeping guys' commandments. Come on back up. Right, so you understand that? Yeah, I feel So that. as far as us buying or selling, we're not supposed to be doing that, bro. You got one thing you have to realize is that, um, you know, our sins keeps us in the condition that we're in, all right? Well, that's, that's basically, basically, what you buying on the Sabbath is you're in sin. So you shouldn't do that on the Sabbath. Yeah, give it up. Okay. All right. So look, 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 look. Uh, uh, now I, I'm, I'm gonna hit something else that you that you um mentioned. You, you, you mentioned about drinking, right? So, the Bible the Bible doesn't say that uh, we, we can't drink. We can drink, but it has to be in moderation. But it does say this. Watch, listen to this. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. So, the Bible says woe, which means destruction unto them. They wake up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. So, um, I'm, I'm not sure what time it is. I'm, I don't even think it's 12 o'clock. So, if you're drinking before 12 or, or whatever, bro, you, you the Bible's saying the destruction to you, man. You know what I'm saying? There's, everything has to be done in moderation, bro. You know, there's a time and place for everything. You don't, you don't go... A lot of people that, that wake up in the morning drinking is because uh, they, they drink all the way till they fell asleep, too. You know what I'm saying? Right. So these are signs of alcoholics. What you got? Oh yeah, read, read that. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 31, verse 28. One measurably drunk, and in its se one measurably drunk, and in its season, bringing gladness of heart and cheerfulness of the mind. So wine, it, it makes us glad, right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.